Hi everyone, in this video we are going to demonstrate the installation and the use of a honey pot that is paint box. So paint box is a honey pot and what is a honey pot? So honey pot is a system which we deploy in our in our organization for example that is we deliberately or somehow we install it to learn the activity of this hacker maybe we want to observe the behavior or the tools or the pattern used by these hackers uh, when they attack our system so that those patterns can be used for um, so for mitigation techniques to lure an attacker and paint box is one of the solutions which we can deploy and this in this video we are going to install it this video is for information and educational purpose so now to install paint box i have selected kali linux machine but this can be installed in windows or any other operating system where we have uh, ruby installed there but i have selected kali linux machine and in this kali linux machine i will install this paint box and then once i have paint box uh, installed and running then i'll try to access this paint box or I will try to access this Kali Linux machine from maybe Windows machine and then we'll see if this paint box which is working as a honeypot is that machine able to detect that uh, access or that activity or not okay um, we are first going to browser and um, my this virtual machine is actually connected on the with the internet so to download this honeypot so first we are going to write the name of that honey pot which we'll be using that is paint box and then we write honey pot and press enter as we write you see we have received one link very first link which we will be using to uh, to download or to make a clone of paint box on our local machine that is kali linux and we scroll down there's the paint box tutorial and here it mentions that paint box is a safety kit containing various tools for streamlining pen test conducting uh, a job easily so this is helpful for pen tester and how to install these are some instructions the very first instruction is that we can make uh, a clone or we are supposed to make a clone of this tool on our kali linux machine so yes i have selected this kali linux machine for installing this honey pot but you can select our maybe windows or some other machine where we should have ruby installed on it so we have selected this one and uh, so we are going to first make a clone of this to make clone i'm going to copy this command in uh, i'm going to copy this command in my here terminal so paste clipboard here and you can see git clone and the same command has been uh, pasted here so git clone this will make a clone of this paint box on my kali linux machine and you can see this 100 percent now this 100 percent done this has been cloned on this local machine and uh, now actually this should be we can see where is this uh, let's find ourselves you can see this is there in paint box a folder has been created so we go to that folder and for that i say pan and press tab so this is the folder i'm going in now we are in paint box and let's see what is in that folder so in paint box you can see we have a tar file that is a compressed file so first we need to uncompress it the tar file so for that we have a command that is tar minus zxvf and then we give the name of that file that is pandbox.tar.gz so for that i just press tab key and this completes the whole command and i press enter now it has uncompressed all these files and uh, these should be here in this pandbox uh, minus 1.8 folder so we can go to that folder using cd and pandbox and press tab we are in this uh, pandbox 1.8 folder and here we should have file which we can execute you can see here using ls minus l command and you can see this is the file which ha we have to execute and we have to execute this in the current directory so we just uh, type dot and forward slash and give the name of the file which we want to execute this is press enter so this is actually 
uh, which starts the paint box on our Kali Linux machine. Now you can see paint box is ready for use. And there's a menu here shows that paint box can, can I actually paint box has these features that it can be used for cryptography tools, network tools, web, IP grabber, geolocation IP mass attack. So these are, I mean, these are some of the features which can be used in paint box. But today we, in this video, we are going this paint box as a network tool. So we will be selecting number two option here, and this will select network tools of this paint box. Press enter. And uh, after this, it says that in, in network tools, you can use this, it, I, I, you can use it as, a, as TCP port scanner, honey part. So these are some other options which we can use it. So we have to use this pan box as honey pot. So for that, we need to select this option that is number three, click type three and press enter. And in this honey pot, we have these two options. One is fast auto configurations and second is manual configurations. That is maybe for advanced user. Advanced user means whatever we, we will have here in fast auto configuration, here in advanced case, we have to select those things by ourselves, possible code numbers. Anyway, we are going to select number one, that is auto configuration of this pant box. So select one. And you can see now it shows that honey pot activated on port 80. So this by default selects port 80. Any activity uh, occurring on port 80 will be detected and it will be shown here. So maybe uh, if we do this manual configuration, then we can also specify these port numbers, maybe 111222 or any port number you like, you can use. So that will be manually configured, one of the things. Okay, now the paint box as a honey pot is ready to, to lure or to see who is going to access this machine. And to, see, to verify that this honey pot is working, uh, I can maybe access this Kali Linux machine from my Windows machine, which is here. So they are on the same network from Windows machine. I will send a request using port 80 to this Kali Linux machine. And on a Kali Linux machine, this, this uh, honey pot is already working at the pan box is already installed and it should detect this activity. And for that, um, maybe we can, first we need to see the IP address of Kali Linux machine. And I forgot to see this one. Before that, maybe we can have, uh, uh, yes, we can have another terminal here to see only IP. Uh, IP address so I config and the IP address of this Kali Linux machine is 192.168.197.130. So this is the IP address of Kali machine where we have installed pant box as a as as a uh, as a honey pot. Pant box is activated here. Honey pot. So pant box honey pot is activated here. And now we are going to access this Kali Linux machine from Windows 10. So for that we open a browser here. And in that browser, we type the IP address, which is the IP address of this Kali Linux machine. I'm sorry, I forgot the IP address. I need to see again this one. So that is 197.130. So 192, it's 192. Mm -hmm. One, many catch mark, delete it. 192.168.197.130 so that was the IP address here you can see you need to close it uh, close it and now we have this window so that is the IP address we used in our windows machine in the in browser so we want we are actually we are accessing that Kali Linux machine from windows using its IP address and by default it will be using port 80 but we can also specify like port 80 here and press enter request is going to Kali Linux machine to access this but it says that IP address login failed access denied and this occurred at this time so from Windows we try to access Kali Linux machine which already is running some honeypot that is pant box and let's see what's the result here 
we can see honeypot activated on this port with this the message we saw before and now it says that intrusion attempt detected so for example it says that this is 192.168.197.154 so this was the pc or this was the computer who tried to access this kali linux machine so this was this is something which happened so using http they used get method and this is the host so this is the host. this is the kali linux machine and connection keep alive further information for uh, the http methods used by windows they can see these these uh, in this way actually kali linux machine or the pant box which is working as a honeypot can detect the activity on port number 80 so this was with auto configuration you can try with the with the manual configuration as well where you can specify the port numbers okay so this is this was the video only for demonstration and installing a pant box which can be used as a honeypot in our system where we have ruby installed so thank you thank you very much hopefully this video will be helpful for some of you and i hope to see you in some other video